being a very calm person. Lots of people are surprised that I'm in a fighting business. But I have this switch in my head. When I go to the octagon, I can switch to a beast mode. I just feel comfortable there. The fact that I've been away for 12 months, in his mind, gives him the advantage. In my mind, I feel refreshed. I am doing everything I can to be the best version of myself. The chains are off, the shackles are off now. I really want to go down as one of the best heavyweights to ever walk the face of the earth. So leg up twice fast. Yep. After the fight with Blades, I changed a lot since the injury. Now we've really had a year to perfect the training situation. Move to it, Tom, and block it. My dad's took kind of a leading role in everything. My dad's always been a part of my career from the beginning. And it's just so much more stress-free for me because nobody knows me like he knows me. If you'd never met Tom, I'd describe him as very laid back. He's quite selfish. He's very driven. And if you make friends with him, you'll have a friend for life. Right. Right. The earliest memories that I've got of like me, my dad, and fighting together is my dad coming home in a suit, so he must have still been working at that time. And he put on a VHS of the UFC. Right. It was a skinny guy, Hoist Gracie with a gi on. Oh, you're doing oh, it. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> he said that he's going to start jiu jitsu. He's 60 this weekend. He's 60 this weekend. This year. I retired from my work to just do jiu jitsu. Go on, go in there. It's to spend as much time with the kids as I could. Uh, I didn't have a teacher, decided to just try and learn it myself. Because in this area, nobody was teaching it. And I wanted to do the same. <laughs> he was maybe 14 or 15 where I just thought he could be different. He could be really good. Okay, get a piece of wall, get a part of A mat rat is someone that spends all the time on the mat, and I definitely was one. All you're doing is getting your legs out. And I definitely still am one. I grew up in the gym. Lock your legs up. When I was young, I was a shy little kid. I was always the kid who would like hide behind my mum's leg, being on the mat. And that's how I get my confidence. A lot of people from my town, they work in factories and they work as plumbers and laborers. And I thought, I definitely don't want to work a normal job if I can do this for a living. When you're fighting, you're just free of everything of responsibility, of stress, of worry, of everything, because you've got no time to think about anything else. It's beautiful in a way. So I had my first professional fight when I was 21. It was fought on the gas, all systems go, and in 2020, I uh, signed for the UFC. Making his UFC debut, Tom Aspinall. It's pretty much been the plan since Tom was able to walk that he would get here to the UFC. Oh, what a finish! Wow! Keep your eyes on this young man. Oh, oh. he's getting creative. Oh, this is done. Wow. 2 0 oh with the UFC. Oh, he connected. Oh, wow. And there it is. Look oh, at that. Man. It's over. Right under the chin. Oh. oh. I'm telling you right now, we're looking at a potential champion. You know, I just exploded onto the scene in a couple of years. I was a, I was a nobody, and then I'm main event in London. Tonight, he has the potential to change his life forever. Against the six foot nine, scary Russian man, Alexander Volkov. And straight in on nice. the off. Oh, look at that! Aspinall giving him a shelling at the moment. And I took him down and finished him in one of my favourite submissions. Straight arm lock. There it ah! is. What a moment for Tom Aspinall. I then went on to fight Curtis Blades in London. 
It's been a record-breaking run to five wins. The O2 Arena is like a big, massive deal to a guy from the northwest of England. The show was completely sold out. The fans are absolutely crazy. I don't know, there was something a little bit different about me mentally. I didn't seem to be as relaxed on, as switched on as I, as I was in my other fights, and I was feeling a little bit reckless. Tom said he's going to push the action. I tried to take his head off straight away. That just shows what kind of mental state I was in, because that's not my style. Oh, no! oh his knee's gone. Wow! His knee's gone. My knee completely locked up. I knew straight away that I was going to need surgery. Oh, oh that's just awful. I can't imagine what he was going through. And I felt really sad, you know, as a dad. Tom, in a whole lot of pain here. Lying on my back at, in the altar arena, being embarrassed like that in front of so many people, it's devastating. Nobody in the building wanted this to happen. Torn MCL, stretched ACL, torn meniscus. It's hard to really believe in yourself in times like that because I think if I would have beat Blades, that would have got me a title shot. Every shot is a knockout shot. <laughs> as, as you've thrown the right hand, you're doing like a stutter step. Right. When you throw the right hand, just, just, right. yeah, just put it straight in from there. Like that. Yeah, don't and then you step. No, don't do the step. So when you wait over your front foot there, get everything back into that right hand. <laughs> yeah, better. My opponent is... Marcin Tibora, and this fight means a lot to me. So you get your foot right next to it. This is really serious. A lot rests on this fight. And I'm going to go straight back to the same place, straight back to the scene of the crime, put on the performance of my lifetime, and make up for what happened last year. Na wydechu możesz sobie przewrócić na drugą stronę. Tak jest. Przewróć. Tak jest. My journey to get to this point was rough. There's been ups and downs in my career. So right now, when is a very good time, I'm not trying to be greedy about it. I'm just trying to be humble. Because I feel like whatever happening in your life, it never lasts forever. We stara się jak najwyżej dotknąć. Tak jest, do góry, do góry, do góry, żeby ograniczyć. My record in the last eight fights is seven and one. Wypuść powietrze, rozluźnij się. Most of the success happening because I managed to rebuild lots of things in my mind. I just feel like um, being completely different person, completely different. Fighter. Wdech. Ręce do góry. Nie? Z trzy razy. A potem wdech. There is a couple of things changing in my life. I met my breathing coach, which also is a mental coach. He told me how to manage my energy. I can uh, push harder than others. I don't get tired that easy. Much more motivated than before. Better endurance. Everything combined, and I think building all this that led me to this place, and I'm really excited about it. Oddech is takim narzędziem, które daje nam kontrolę nad umysłem. To jest bardzo istotne. W sztukach walki, gdzie bijemy się i tak dalej, często po jednej stronie stoi nas przeciwnik, po drugiej stronie jesteśmy my sami, nasz umysł. No i efekty myślę, że są widoczne, bo nie był zawodnikiem, który słynął z dobrej wytrzymałości. No a teraz widać, że to się zdecydowanie zmieniło. Akcja obrona! When I started training MMA, I was 19 years old. I loved it. I actually couldn't wait. Every training in Poland, it was really small at this time. Mocy na tych rozstań. Dobrze, Marcin. 
So I didn't expect that it will grow, that I be able to live from this, and I will be fighting worldwide. And it was like a far, far away, and it was like a big dream for someone who you know, trained in a small gym. It took me like 10 years to get to UFC. I built my mind, make a bigger commitment to training, and that's how I made it. So sometimes I feel like MMA fight me rather than I found MMA. Representing the nation of Poland, here is Marcin Tabora. It's going to be a serious threat in this division. Big elbow. Oh, that was a nice uppercut. Ah, he's starting to wilt. Tabura hammers away to the victory. He can absolutely just break people down. He keeps getting better. My next opponent is Tom Aspinall, and it's a big fight for my career because it's headlining the UFC event in London. It's a big, big deal. It's a great feeling. Tom is a very skilled fighter. I was his fan before this fight happened. I just expecting the best Tom that ever was there in the octagon. So I just want to build my skills. That's what we focus on. He's good at every aspect of the sport, but I just feel like I'm a better fighter. I would uh, see myself as a good striker, good uh, wrestler and good grappler. I think I can stand the fight with him uh, in every aspect of, of MMA. The biggest unknown of him is uh, how he will be dealing with a five uh, round distance. And I know I might have an advantage in it, but we have to start really strong and he will be very strong in the first round. So I have to try to finish him right from the beginning. Do not let him in his game. Biggest mistake that Tom can make is storming at me, but actually I'm really hoping he will. I want to win this fight, I want to knock him out. That will be my hand raise after this fight. Today is the most important day of the week, in my opinion, because it's the closest thing to a fight that you can get, is sparring. I try and make it as real as I can without getting injured. We'll go in there and we'll punch each other in the face, we'll go hard. Sometimes the knockouts happen in the gym. It's just inevitable. Heavyweight is unlike any other division. These guys are big, strong, heavy hitting guys. And if you're not used to being hit by them guys and you're not used to that pressure on top of it, day in, day out, you're gonna struggle. I wanna be loyal to my dream. Like, I've dreamt about this since I was a small boy. So's my dad. Yep, come out now, that's it. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. He can see when I'm burnt out. He can see when, you know, I'm, I'm lacking motivation. He knows exactly what buttons to press, exactly when to press them. Push his feet back now. Don't have him coming forward on you. <laughs> Let's keep the middle of the ring. There's no hidden agendas involved with my dad. He's not thinking about money, fame, reputation, all that kind of stuff. He's not thinking about that. He's literally thinking about me. It's almost a year to the day that I blew my knee out in the O2 Arena in London. The first four weeks post-surgery were some of the most miserable days of my entire life. I think that what happened might have changed his life for the better. Now he's thinking, I can't leave anything to chance. Everything I do from now on's got to be right. I was treating that rehab process like a training camp. I was actually more serious than that than I was for most of my fights. Yeah. I feel really That's good. So strong, man. 
Yeah. He's fresh, I'm tired. Yeah. What's that, fourth round? And then set him up the speed. My conditioning is where it needs to be, yeah, definitely. I was doing everything that I physically could to get back, because I missed it massively. No more. Enough is enough. When you're fighting heavyweight, you've got two general rules. This is what my dad always told me. Don't let him hit you. Don't let him get on top of you. They're the two general rules. Nicole. Oh! Lovely day, as we can see. And uh, we're having a little dip in the lake after training this morning. You can really have fun and work hard at the same time. I can't <laughs> swim that good. I'm not even joking, I'm not a good swimmer. <laughs> the training situation I've got right now is, is unbelievable. <laughs> Between five and 15 heavyweights every single day. You know, we've got Russian guys coming in, we've got Iranian guys coming in. <laughs> These are some of our best friends in the world. Like, yeah, just deeper. <laughs> Here's the whale. Oh. <laughs> now we have such a great time in the gym. <laughs> if you're not enjoying this thing, then why are we doing it? I feel like right now. Our life has never been better. I feel like I've got great people around me, and I think I know what I need to do now. I think the happy fight is a dangerous fight at 100%, especially when it comes to me. Tibora's fighting style is underrated. He's unorthodox. He's sneaky with some of his attacks. He's incredibly durable. You know, he's, he's one of the best heavyweights in the world. He's top 10 heavyweight, so you can't take anybody lightly. People are dismissing Tabura, and you can't. As the fight goes on, the more dangerous he gets, and he'll keep coming. And I think, I think he'll try and wear Tom out. I don't know what that feels like to do five rounds. I've absolutely no idea, so I'm trained for it, and that's all I can do, really. Six, seven, one. I've just turned 30 years old. I feel like I have a lot of fights in front of me. Because right now, I've had six UFC fights and nobody's seen really much of what I can do at all so far. I'll keep it that way. If I can finish all my fights in 30 seconds, you better believe I will. I think he wants to be remembered as the best heavyweight there's ever been. He just needs a bit of luck now. I want more that is naturally in me. I'm hungry constantly to get more. I have to win the fight, that's it. If I go out there and do what I know I can do, I can win this fight in, in great style, quick. The name of my village is Wang Balinski. Lots of space, lots of farms. I worked on the farm till I got signed with the UFC. There was many obstacles living on the farm and working there. I was kind of a person who never gave up. That's something that goes with me all my career as a fighter. I know how uh, things sometimes get really hard and I know how to fight it. Zobacz tutaj wspomnienia. Ta ja chyba z komunistów. Właśnie, no. My mother is a really kind, warm person. She always like a mentally support us, doing everything for her children. A to pamiętasz? No to, to trudno, żebym pamiętał, przecież mam tu ze dwa lata może. Even now when we are adults, she always check on everyone and try to gather us together. As, as much as possible. A to pamiętasz? Pamiętam. Chyba nawet Andrzej robił te plakaty, nie? Mój brat. No. Ale mama skrzętnie to zachowuje. zachowuje. Byle jak najdłużej. My mom keeps all of my trophies and lots of other things from fights in my life. And I think that reminds her of my father. 
A tutaj tata naprawia ci jakiś pistolet od wody, ale minę masz kłaśną. I feel like he was a big supporter of my career, of all my fighting, because he likes to fight a little bit too when he was young. A tutaj jesteś po ciężkiej pracy z tatą. A tutaj po południowa drzemka. He died from kidney cancer. He was sick for like a month before he died. That was like a very bad time in my life. There was also time in my career that it fell apart a little bit. My record in five fights was 1-4 at this time. I got all these thoughts about maybe quitting, maybe I'm done, but I didn't quit. The winner, by unanimous decision, marching to Bor Tabora! My father told me how to manage my emotions, dealing with all these challenges. It's been a new mindset for Marcin Tabor. He started to mount a run. To be a better person, you have to work for everything. Five fight win streak. All of this combined together that motivates me to be a better fighter. The train keeps rolling for Marcin Tabura. I think he was very proud of me. Sometimes I feel like he passes some energy for me in those tough fights. He might watch me from somewhere and keep those fingers crossed and, and give me some more energy. Po czterech porażkach wcześniej przychodzą do nas do klubu, ma siedem wygranych, więc, więc jest to bardzo duży sukces dla Marcina i na pewno zmiana u Marcina jest duża, zmieniła się u niego też, też psika, więc z każdym zwycięstwem też, każdy zwycięstwo motywuje go do kolejnego zwycięstwa. I knew I need coach who push me harder. I było jak chcemy, nie zawdydaj się zamykać. Coach Kościelski is the coach who knows how to add skills for fighters. Masz ten pierwszy z nim ma być mocny, ten drugi ma być mocny, tak? It sometimes remind me of my father because he can be tough on the training too, and that's something I really like about him. Już przed nas pracujesz na nim, dawaj. O co masz mężczyzny ty? I just believe him so much that I, whenever he told me to do something, I just did it because I know it, that it will work. Więc myślę, że to jest aktor, a dla Marcina fajne wyzwanie i no, musimy tą walkę wygrać. Musimy to wygrać, żeby dalej się liczyć w stawce o pas, to, to musimy, y, musimy tą walkę wygrać. Right now is a different energy in me. Everything got in the right spot. The victory over Tom means that I'm in the right place and being a title contender soon. Being a champion of the world in the sports that I uh, make a commitment for such a long time in my life, it's a big deal. And being the first Polish champion in the heavyweight division would be something awesome. When I see it in my mind, uh, the crowd will go crazy. Right now, I don't really care about the belt. I think at some point in the next 10 years, I'm going to have gold around my waist. I'm 100% sure of it. I just got to win, and that's what I plan on doing. Fighting Tom will be the biggest challenge in my career. For sure, he will be tough. I have to push it harder. I've been there many times before, and that's why I'm prepared for anything that happened in October.